another tower mod. This one you may have already seen before, but you notice that there is a bomb tower that costs uh, 1k. Wait a minute. But we already have a bomb tower, so what is this? Well, let's save up for it first off. Alright, there we go. Bomb tower. Very tiny range. But it's not a bomb tower, it's actually... <laughs> it's a dartling gun. Disguised as a bomb tower for some reason. This is indeed a mod. Literally the entire implementation of dartling gun, like all... All upgrades have been designed for this guy right here. I don't know if it's, if it's the exact um, upgrades, because apparently the data got leaked um, for the Dartling Gun a long time ago. I'm not sure if the names actually match up, but someone can let me know. I do know that Laser Cannon and Hydro Rocket is, you know, is going to be in the actual Dartling Gun when it comes out, which we have no idea when. But yeah, fully designed 15 upgrades, completely customized. Path 1 and 2 is similar to the leaked ones, but Path 3 is different, alright. So what do you say we get? Wider darts, 100 bucks. It's cheap, but I don't think it's any useful. Focus firing, I think we're good. I think we'll go for the powerful darts. More pierce. So just like the 0-1 dartling. In uh, TD5 or battles. But yeah, uh, 002 is basically the 2x upgrade for the BTD5 dartling. So it's a bit switched around this version. That being said, uh, we should probably farm because it's going to take a while to get these upgrades to a high enough level. What should we uh, cross path? Let's see. What's better? Top path is basically stability. Lucky shot is just camo. Wait, really? This Dartling Gun can't see camo? Pathetic. Pathetic. Delete this mod right now. How can a mod of Dartling Gun not include base camo? Especially if you're paying 1k for it. What a scam. So in that case, I think it's better going top path, cross path, and then, like, getting a camo village. And let's see, what's fine-tuning? Even fast farm, I see. I see they're taking inspiration from the, uh, Sniper Monkey bottom path in this game. Very inspirational. Let's go for a farm and lock it in place, so we don't have to, uh, you know, have this guy shooting down when we collect bananas. And let me just see it really can't see camo, can it? Wow. I can't believe it. So let's set target. Perfect targeting. Perfect upgrade to buy on this map. Now there is laser cannon 3k. But I'm going bottom path. I want to see that new implementation. Again, this is like... Not what's going to be in the real Darling Gun when it comes out. What do we do for leads? I guess we'll app buff it. Yeah, you know what would be really good with that Darling Gun? Um, an app buff. Absolutely. Right now these darts like Pierce is okay with bond path. But that damage only does one layer. When a tower only does one layer of damage, you know that calls for an out buff. There's the out buff. Although it does run up pretty quickly. As expected, considering the tower shoots so fast. So yeah, this darling is definitely a candidate for a P brew buff. So we better get farming. Although again before, um, I'm gonna go for cheap D camo. And done. So double barrel, what is it? Double barrel is double the fun. So I'd assume it's just double pierce. Double the potential. Get a 203 modded Dartling Gun beat 40 here. So far so good, but I would assume this part would suck. Yeah, it's gonna suck. Close call. But now we got double barrel, so... Uh, now we can leave it, I guess, back to set target. Yeah, we'll be good for a while. And then we got the tier 5. The Industrial Dart Supply. Description, too many darts. That's it. Again, taking inspiration from Ninja Kiwi's very uh, descriptive descriptions. Okay, and now for the uh, Tier 5. That's a lot of darts. How many uh, waves of darts are we getting? How many streams of darts? Can we see? Jeez. This is not fast forwarded, by the way. So, it's already shooting this fast. One, two, three, I count at least four streams. Although, the fact that it's like, moving a little bit, wiggling a little bit, it, it's hard to actually see. Although, I would guess four, with a lot more pierce, a lot more attack speed, a lot more speed in general. Yeah, and how does it do against the infamous round? 
Well, okay, got halfway. A little bit struggling, but overall, it's looking pretty good. Oh yeah, we forgot to get a, a pat. One pat fusty boy. Now I can't tell, are these uh, darts doing only one layer of damage? It's hard to see, but I'm pretty sure the answer would be yes. If you see red balloons, yeah, yeah. I see greens, blues, and reds. So I'm almost certain that it only does one layer. So yeah, pat buff would be insane then. That would double the damage of it when it's active. Like unbuffed, I'd say it's pretty balanced, but when you add those, uh, you know, that, that pat buff, that out buff, it gets pretty nuts real quick. Like a global sun avatar? Kind of true. Because Sun Avatar also does one layer of damage, but shoots a lot of projectiles. Pretty close comparison, despite it looking uh, completely different. So let me use the ability. Should take it down real quick, yeah. Doesn't even get to this part. If you remember 63, it got to the middle part, and 76 is way, way beefier. Twice as big, I think. Alright, pad ability here, and P Brew is now ours. And this thing, I'm almost guessing it's gonna solo up to 100 at this point. We're still missing Overclock, which is gonna make it even nuttier. So, I think we'll go for that next. Here comes free play. Yeah, nothing's getting even, getting even past the front. And look at this. I'm pretty sure half the darts are even missing. They're going wide. There is no need to use this Overclock ability if we're going, if we're doing this well. Just gonna keep on AFK like this until until we run into any sign of any sign of trouble. I mean, I guess we'll buy the upgrades just in case. If you just want to see some maximum chaos, like yeah, we can just get the uh, the homeland now. If you want to decide to uh, I don't know, pick on a round, bully it into submission. Sure, we got that at our, our at our disposal. But yeah, this is no pat buff even. I'm not using the ability. It's just Pebrew industrial dart. Doesn't stand a chance against late game. So yeah, if this was in the real game, I think... Actually, I'm not sure it would be nerfed, because again, this two-tower combo is pretty expensive. But once you get it, like, you're literally guaranteed an auto-win. Let's pick a 98 for revenge of all the uh, people who have died on round 98 in the past. The tens of thousands of poor, innocent BTD6 players who died on 98. This is revenge. I'm gonna wait for a few more balloons to come out and then, and then unleash. We, uh, I'm just gonna buy a low 40 pad. Get even more damage, cause why not? And I think we're ready. All right, overclock, pat, call the arms. I'm going to even target. Oh my god, that damage is disgusting. And there it is. 98 is done. That is so many darts. Can you count how many darts is shooting out a second? I can't even. Ran 100. We still got that overclock buff. Although I think it's wearing out soon. Yeah, it, it wore out. No abilities against bad. Although we'll get a few up soon. Like now. Back to overclock, back to pat. We probably don't even need homeland for this. Yeah, we don't. We do not. But I'll use it just in case. Just for funsies. And there it is. One super buffed industrial dart supply can beat 100 plus rounds. That is one really juicy modded dart only gun, I gotta say. But yeah, I guess we will get an ultra boost. I mean, we're almost there, so why not? In fact, I'll sell a farm for it just to speed the process. Alright, I guess in the meantime, let's check out the middle path. The supposedly weak middle path. So, we already know this. It's actually pretty expensive. $600 for camo. Hydro rocket pods. $2,000. Oh, yeah, it's definitely pretty pretty pathetic. Just uh, a wee little missile replaces the darts. But yeah, as for tier 4, the BADS covers a wide area with each shot. And the ability, it's basically replicating the... BT5 version of it. And I believe it does shoot into uh, three streams. But it's quite expensive for a tier 4. <laughs> like, what the hell? This is more expensive than the tier 4 Super Monkey, Tech Terror, and Avatar. 
Yeah, this is definitely not what it be, what it would cost in uh in the real world. Bar Dark Champion, this is the most expensive tier four upgrade. Would be. Talk about taxes. Either way, we'll check it out. It seems to basically just be a BDS, but uh yeah, two more projectiles. So as for the abilities, I guess we'll check it out. Uh, three, two, one, let go. Well, you saw it right there. Depending on where you target it, it'll shoot a an array of missiles. But I missed because I didn't know I didn't know that. It is not homing. In BT5 and battles, it homes, right? I think so. So it's been a while since I played those games, but I'm pretty sure it did it did home. Let me wait for a strong like strong balloons, and then I'll use the ability. Like zoom GTA, yeah, there we go. I'm gonna watch the damage count. How can it do something at least? Three, two, one, unleash. Did 2k damage. Yeah, I don't know about that for a 35k tower. Alright. Obviously, I don't expect balance, like full complete balance for a custom mod. I can't lie, this is a really nice uh really nice uh icon, upgrade icon. Oh those tiny missiles. System upgrade, even more. This already shoots at 100 missiles. So how much does this thing shoot? I guess we'll sell a few more of these. Money apparently isn't an issue. There we go, and I would I would say cross path, bond path. For more darts. Or more missiles. Like that. Alright, ability. That's a lot of missiles. Although I can't tell if that did very much. Especially when like half of them missed. Not gonna lie, it does look nice though. Despite it, you know, not doing a lot of damage. So let's do it again. It doesn't do 360, but it's like, what, 180 degrees? Let's see. Yeah, 180, 180. It's basically a 180 degree um, area effect. So, I know a great place for it. Right here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Not a Mont Tower. I got baited real hard there. And I can't afford it anymore. Fine. There we go. Got it again. Okay. How much damage? Oof, a lot of like 18k. 18k, but I would expect more, honestly. For a tier 5, that costs pretty much $100,000, guys. 60k for tier 5. 35 for tier 4. You're, you're looking at 100k for 18k damage every 30 seconds. They definitely gotta change the numbers for sure on this guy. Let's try again. Maybe that was a fluke? Nope. In fact, that was a good one. That was a good one. Now it only did 10k. Meanwhile, this guy's sitting at a casual 5 million pops. Well, I guess it's now time to try out the top path. 1, 2, laser cannon, 3k. Pretty standard. Although definitely a lot weaker than the BT-5 laser cannon. <laughs> Just looking at how slow it shoots. Rhea Doom, 55k. I do believe there's a problem with the mod though. Uh, if I upgrade it, notice that the uh, there's no uh, sprite, there's no asset for the tier four, so I, I kind of got a broken, uh, a broken version. <laughs> it looks like not working with definitely doing damage, just uh invisible to the naked eye. Question is, do I want to spend another hundred k on an invisible upgrade? Because this too is invisible. You're right. I can sell ultra boost for it. 90k. I might as well, because I already have 10 stacks. I don't lose it if I sell the Ultra Boost, right? Well, I'll see. Let me see after this round. I think we see enough of this Industrial Dark Cannon. If I sell it, the stacks stay good. You just lose the overclock though, but that's all. That's fine. Now, if we, if we buy this, you'll see there is no art for it. But there is a stack ability. Apparently, the more money you sack into it, the stronger it gets. Um, it's doing pretty good so far. Well, I don't know if it's good for a 100k tower, but... Let's say I sacrifice, I don't know. Ooh, the permabrew. No, the homeland, the homeland. Bye, homeland. I can tell by... It's definitely doing a lot more damage. Just by the, the number, the number count. It's like a door, but it doesn't cap until a lot higher money amount. Apparently it's 1 million. You need a million dollars to make it max power. But what good is that when you can't even see it? 
damn UV rays or microwaves, whatever, whatever waves it is that we can't see. We might die here. Not. Yeah, only a whole net. It improved a lot. And that's only like a 60k tower. I guess next step would be, uh... Permabrew? Sorry, Dark Cannon. Your power must be transferred over. And I'm probably get gonna get rid of the Dark Cannon too. Also, I don't know why legs. Oh, purples, yeah. Okay, purples make the game lag. Apparently. So, time for the Dark Cannon to go. And we're dead. <laughs> All right, let's go sandbox and see. All right, so let me get this. Um, sacrifice. There we go. Another one. Okay, a bad time. We should have max power. But all I see here is a weakling. A weakling. I was told this thing should like one shot a bad. But that doesn't seem to be the case right now.